Hi guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on my blog, chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. Today's video is another addition in my DIY Dollar Tree binder series. This little mini series that I've started. I found this binder at Dollar Tree. I found some inserts and I wanted to share with you guys other ways that you can transform this binder into a planner, an affordable option for you. And I want to go ahead and start off by saying two things. Number one, there are so many amazing people in this community that do Dollar Tree videos and I love learning from them and just being inspired. This is my take on how to use this stuff, how I would use it, my planner style, but there are so many other people. One of my favorites is is coupon to provide her channel is actually now known as the Bates house so I'll have her information linked below for you guys to see I mean she has a variety of Dollar Tree videos as just affordable planning in general if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff no this isn't she has not asked me to share her channel I just love sharing with you guys the good stuff the amazing people that are in this community and when it comes to affordability she is one of my absolute faves and I'm glad that she's back on YouTube sharing her amazing talent. So again, I'll have her stuff linked below for you guys to check out. Number two, I know that not everybody can find the things that I share in my videos in Dollar Tree. I happen to live in the tri-state area where I can have multiple locations to go to and I'm very thankful for that. I know a lot of people, depending on where you live, you don't see a lot of this stuff. But just keep in mind that everybody's Dollar Tree is different. It all depends on the area. I know that. But again, I just want to share with you guys different options of what you can do with the things that are in the Dollar Tree, not just in the stationary aisle. So with all that being said, we're going to get into the new things that I found that we're going to be implementing into this DIY Dollar Tree Planner. And a lot of this stuff you'll be seeing in upcoming videos. I'm going to do an entire video dedicated to tabs and dividers. But today I'm going to share with you guys the new stuff that I found. And we're going to decorate the cover, which I'm really, really excited about. So, first things first. I did go ahead and get some more of these chopping mats. These are amazing. These are great for covers, dividers and dashboards in your planner so I have more of those and then I got some of the poster board stickers I got the letters and the numbers and I'm gonna be making a dashboard with these that says 2020 and I'm thinking of possibly doing one for both my half letter planner which is the planner I personally use I always have details on this in the description box and then also for this Dollar Tree planner then I found this one that says Girl Boss. Then I found this beautiful floral one. It's a little bent, but I feel like once I smooth it out, and this does have some stuff on it, but I think a white will get that off. So I just love the florals of it. And you can always see the little image of what it looks like in the, um, the corner here. And these are the Main Street Wall Creations. You can find these in the stationary aisle of most Dollar Trees, but they also have them in the, where they keep the photos and stuff like that. You can find them there as well. And then my favorite one is this one, because I love this lion. Is it a lion or is it a leopard? Is it a lion? It's a lion, right? This is a lion. It's a lion, okay? And I'm going to see if I can fit this whole face of the lion onto the cover. I think that'll be really, really dope. So that's that one. And then I also found some sticky notes. These are from Crown Jewels. And it's Faith, Hope, and Love. And it says, Be Still. I love the little watercolor. And I just love a good sticky note. So that's that. I did get two of my favorite pens. I love gel pens and I personally love the 0.7 ink. And along with that, 
I found pen holders and the pen holders and all a lot of this other stuff that I'm going to be showing soon is from the My Plan My Way and I have received comments that you can find this stuff at Dollar General so I will link it wherever I can find it in the description box for you guys. So I got the pen holders from that line. I also got the divider stickers. These do have an adhesive, which is nice. And there's 12 inside of here. And then I did find this ruler. The ruler is always great for making your own layouts and straight lines. And then I found this pencil holder, which is great for your pens. Also for stickers, I found these two sticker books. So this one is Seasons. And it comes with six sheets. Well, yeah, six sheets. Um, I think in the Home Life one, it's duplicates. So this just has birthday, New Year's, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, Easter, Memorial Day, all the holidays here. So you do get two of those. And then you do get, yeah, it is duplicates. You do get two of the, um, the months, which are great for tabs. And then you get this one, which is party. And it has like some other little boxes and stuff there. Then in the home life one, there's some hearts with some other functional icon stickers, some more flags for the days of the week. And then you get some more functional stickers. Now these, I have never seen these before. I will say with these, you have to be careful writing because they're not paper stickers. So ink does smudge on stickers like these with other brands that I've used that have used this. But for a dollar, six sheets, and this is also cool if you have a planner buddy that you want to send something to, the duplicate sheets, you can send them that. The other one that I saw was Mom Life, but that didn't apply to me, so I didn't get it. One of my absolute favorites is the Dollar Tree shipping labels. And you get 18 in a pack. And this is great for just creating a blank canvas in your planner but also you can cut this up and make full boxes and everything so and you can also print on these so I love these had to get another pack of those I've actually been looking for them but I went to so many different Dollar Trees I like to just pop in and look and see in the different areas that I'm in I travel around a lot running different errands but um yeah I was happy to find those and then these adhesive label holders I have an idea in mind for this can't wait to share that with you guys and then I also got these fastener dots which is a part of their little crafter square section I have not been able to find this at many locations it's very very limited you can find these on the end cap in a lot of stores and then also in the kids section I have seen it there in a couple stores as well so today we're gonna play around with the pen holder the fastener dots and the this little jumbo sticker everything else I'll pull the pens out too everything else I'm going to just put to the side for right now so the planner is from Dollar Tree if you guys haven't seen my previous videos I'll link them below so I have stickers here. We're going to be moving these later on. And then here is just one month. I'm going to go ahead and add about six months inside of here. I just need to fix that. And then I have this writing tablet in the back. So that's where these fastener dots come in. I slid it all the way to the side so that when I close this, it's no issue. But... I'm hoping that these fastener dots will keep them in place. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on each corner and hope that that works. So I think I'm going to put it in between the black and the white part here. And I'm hoping two will be enough. Hoping. Okay. So let's put this here. Slide it down. And then press. And then if I want to peel it up, I can. That worked for that side. This side needs to be pushed down a little bit more. Oh. 
This one's not working for whatever reason. Not sure why. Let's try that again. Okay, so cool. That did work. Just to keep this in place. Now, you can also, if you don't want to have this here, you could put it in the front so that you could put your pen loop in the back, but I think I still might be able to finesse the pin loop some way. So let's see. Let me get this open. And I didn't see many, um, well, much of a variety with the pen loop design. I only saw the striped one and the polka dot. But I'm just going to use the um, stripes one. And it does have this adhesive on the back. And then... So it doesn't like... Um, it doesn't... Um, it's not like a magnetic one. You just stick it. So you can stick the pin loop anywhere you want. Gen generally, most people stick it in the back of the planner. But, hmm, I just want to be able to close this, so let me see how this would look here if I closed it. I think I still might be able to do both. So just stick the pin loop underneath. So let's go ahead and peel it. I think both might work. So there's the pen loop. And we're gonna go ahead and stick this back. Okay, and now for the pen. Which will go here. Let's see if it'll actually slide. Oh, it actually, well, kind of. So that's why sometimes, depending on the pen, I just do it like that. And then we can close it and we still have that access to the pen loop. But also, let's see if it'll, it's not going to work that way. I don't know if I can like fit this. Oh, it's going. Just trying to stretch it out. So there we go. There is, this is the Promark Gel click pin that I said I'll have linked below. So you have your little pen loop and I'm still able to have this in place and not have it shifting all around. So that's cool. I like that. I'm gonna add in some more of the months and then, oh, I need some paper. Now for the cover, I'm gonna take this big old wall decal and I'm really hoping that it'll fit. I think it might fit, you guys. Oh, I think it might fit. Okay, let me get the other piece. So I'm gonna lay this piece down here and then this is supposed to join. Wait, did I put it down right? Oh man. It's supposed to. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, it's supposed to join together. Okay, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. All right, so now I'm just going to here but I don't anymore I don't I could get it over just maybe a little bit more so I'm gonna have to trim some of the ends so that's okay okay 
Okay, there we go. I do like how this peels up off the material if I do need to like shift it around a little bit. Oh man, I ripped it. Darn. So it is not like vinyl as I thought it was, but okay. And then to fix this, all I have to do is do that. And now I just need some scissors to cut the side. So thought I had some over here, but I don't know where my scissors are. But that is so cute that it like fits. It fits here. So that's good. Another option would be to literally just take this side of the face and move it over closer to the side. But I love how bold this is on the cover. And it did come with some phrases. I just want to see. So that wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Feel free to leave any questions or suggestions that you have in the comment section below. Be sure to check out all the links in the description box, which will have links to the other parts of this Dollar Tree planner, parts one and two, along with other related videos, products featured, and of course the links to the blog and Instagram. In part four, we're gonna be focusing on the bulk of the planner and adding some more functional details. So stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And for all of you that are, I thank you so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.